What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video, and today I will be talking about the Shy Season 1 Laverne, and what we can expect from Laverne in Season 1. Now this is based off the first two episodes of the Shy. Um, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out right now. If you have Showtime, the first episode is free right now on YouTube, so make sure you go check that out. Um, now Laverne, now when we talk about the Shy. A lot of people, they think of The Wire, and once they see Laverne, they instantly think of The Wire. She adds, she adds that extra flavor to it. It's like she was meant to be in this show. Um, she she plays a perfect role in this show, and she adds to that theme, that Wire-type theme, to this show. Now, what Laverne is, she right now is, a, I want to say... She's struggling with alcohol, and she has a lot of parenting issues, um, single mother. She's messing with old people, old geezers, or put it like that, that pretty much don't do shit for her, but enable her to go drink even more and mess up her mind even more. Now, she has issues with her son, Brandon, and you know, with the passing of Coogie, it just makes everything worse. Um, now, regardless of how she feels about Brandon, because she feel like that it's Brandon's fault uh, because Coogie died. I think deep down inside that Laverne feels like it's a lot of it is her fault. Bad parenting. Um, she probably feels like she could have done better. I mean, since Coogie passed, she, she's been in this bar drinking more and way more depressed and stressed out. Um, now... You see in episode one, she's already criticizing Brandon from the rip. Uh, she she doesn't really like Jerrica at all. And, you know, she's telling Brandon he's not a real man. He don't got a car and all this. I mean, we see the struggles of their relationship. Now, throughout the, their relationship, Brandon does not never, he doesn't ever give up on his mother, no matter what. He knows what she's been through. He He knows what she's battling and she's suffering from. So no matter what, and no matter how, how bad she's talked to him, even at the funeral when she was blaming him, like, this is on you, this is your fault, and he was pissed off. He still came back to Laverne and tried to fix their issues. And he, she needs that because the, the last thing Brandon needs to do is walk away while she's dealing with this. Um, she is dealing with alcohol problems and a lot of stress from losing a, a son. But Laverne, it just goes to show some of the struggles of single mothers growing up in the inner city. It shows some of the struggles. And this is what she's going through. It's hard out here. I mean, you got these mothers growing up trying to raise kids all by themselves where the man just walks out and leaves. Um, that's a, an example with Emmett, how he was just going to leave the kid. That's a pure example. Now, we don't know all the facts of Coogie and Brandon's father, if they was in their lives or like that. But we can go ahead and say we don't see them on the show nowhere. They don't talk about their dads. We can assume that Laverne raised these kids pretty much by herself. You know, and it's just sad that a mother has to do this all by herself. And I'm pretty sure Laverne is suffering from that. And I, I'm pretty sure Brandon is very aware and he's trying to. He's trying to put in effort to make things right, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. And I think in season one, we can expect Laverne to still be going through these struggles, these battles to fix her relationship with her son um, and also become better at dealing with this alcohol problem that she has. And hopefully it does get better. Hopefully it does. I, I'm pretty sure that Brandon won't give up and eventually – Laverne may come to her senses, but we know how it is in real life. It ain't that easy. So don't be surprised if all season long Laverne is struggling with her with her alcohol problem and losing Coogie. But you guys let me know what you think of Laverne season one. What do you expect from her? Do you think she will get better? Do you think her relationship with Brandon and Jerrica will get better? And will she get over the loss of Coogie, which is going to be very hard to do? I'm not expecting her to do it, but I'm hopefully I'm I'm praying that she she can uh become a better person and move on from it in a positive way, not negative. 
But you guys let me know. Leave it in the comments, and I will bring you more of the shy content in the future. But it's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Super Bowl goals. I'm at the crib of Puff. He got Kaepernick on the phone. He in a whole different mode. Angel head 2 a.m. for being whole. Just to show him how I treat the city like my humble abode. Hey, tell me if TD Bank is a